What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Napoleon Total War Let's Play uh, as the Swedish Empire. And so to pick up where we left off, I did not move my entire army up to the front of Portugal. I only moved one cavalry unit, and I believe, because I only just captured it, yeah, Gibraltar does not like us. So we need to wait for these things to be rebuilt. <laughs> Can't get you back into the town because there's one that one cavalry unit. Uh, which one was it? Hmm. How odd. Maybe it was an infantry unit. Yes, it was. There we go. So we've got Renault Backstrom up against the front line, who is going to be waiting for. Well, there's there's cavalry coming up. For reinforcements, but he's not going to be waiting for that. He's primarily waiting for this force here. Actually, to be honest, Mr. Berglund can probably... Well, we need to get his cavalry back from La Corona. So we need that sloop to be built. We're also fighting over here against the French, but I'm content to actually... Because it's Napoleon, I'm content to wait and let them go through one or two more turns of attrition, and then they attack us. But one thing I actually do want to do, because I do not like all these Russian troops running around my land, is... Sorry, Russia. Cancel your military access. So I've punted them back into their own territory, because I do not want them getting up to any mischief. Mr. Pyle, good. We can leave Milan and we can tax it, so you can push up. Luzerne can now be taxed, which is great. Apart from that, we're still building up our armies at the front line. We can rebuild, upgrade the supply warehouse. So Detloff, Langre, advance. I've almost got an entire fleet built. So let's just keep on building, because ultimately I think I'm going to have more of my... I'm going to have a... Uh, <laughs> And I'm gonna have an. Uh, I'm probably not gonna, not gonna get another fleet built before I pr almost dominate the world. I think. So, Mr. Von Stedink. It's a lot more recruitment on the go. Got a lot of cavalry here at Finland. Okay, but I think everything is currently. Everything is as good as it can be. Okay, let's hit end turn. We're probably gonna burn a few turns right now as we. Uh, re uh, reinvigorate or resupply and reinforce our troops and line up on the Portuguese border which is good because at the same time we can then bolster our firepower in Europe the Prussians might also get the uh, eviction from our lands treatment the same as Russia but ideally I want to capture as many Ooh, yeah, there you go, the Spanish. Ideally, I want to capture as much territory as possible. And, f well, really, just burn as much time as possible until these forces are... until I've got m more troops in the field. Okay, so... Let's just take your cavalry... Get them deployed here. One more turn till Stockholm is fully equipped. Two more slots. So, Mr. Brick. Actually, let's get rid of the Hussar and Light Dragoon, because you're going to get some of those anyway. Get a Svenska Guard, Lifeguard, and Valvade. Well, actually, I don't think you necessarily need all of those. So you've got so you've got nine units. You're going to recruit another seven, so you're on to sixteen, which means you get two heavy cavalry, uh, two light cavalry to match your two heavy cavalry. And you've got space for two more units, and let's just get two bog standard in Delta. Good, because then that'll be two armies done. Let's pick a sphere leave guard and click get Frode Johansson. 
because we're going to need to keep recruiting. We can't stop. We can never stop. Finland's maxed out. So you're up to the front line. You're going to push down to Mr. Backstrom. It's going to take a bit of time, but like I said, got a bit. We've got a bit of time. Gibraltar can't be upgraded. Sandy Bay, you're recruiting your sloop. Cavalry, the Hussar Regiment, the 8th Light Horse, that's actually experience level 3. It's pretty good. Let's get them back to Madrid. Because this force actually might be in a position to sail against Palma. So let's get another sloop ready. And I think if we wait one more turn, the French will come at us here at Corsica. If they don't, they will, they will have to surrender. Eight more turns to get rifled cannons. Not that we're really bothered about rifled cannons. Yeah, just let the cavalry advance through. <laughs> Here come the French. Let's fight it. Let's fight it on the battlefield. So the French mostly consist of lots of half-strength infantry units. They're still dangerous because they've got Napoleon. Um, so you can't really take it for granted that they're going to rout because they're small units because Napoleon gives crazy morale boosts but we do have a small reinforcing army With time to prepare, hey I get to deploy first well, I get to watch them deploy which is not often actually is there any good place to put my 12s the answer is no. And uh, the terrain is a bit terrible. Well, I'm still going to put my 12s on the line. Oh, there. oh, there we go. And they were hidden for a second. Let's create one infantry formation. So it isn't it's always the it seems to be the militia that can form a defensive line. My strength is going to be in my left flank, but I'm going to be pretty darn sure I'm going to push out from behind from uh, these defensive positions at some point. There we go. General in the centre behind the howitzers. If the enemy is forming for an attack... The howitzers are out of range. My 12s, though, are within range. See, they've got some uh, experience behind them. Cavalry is cavalry. Speed up time a little bit. Because right now we're just opening fire. I'm probably going to end up swinging this left flank forward. Okay, now the howitzers have started. If possible. You, you guys deliberately, yeah. So you you can't really hit the right flank for a while. Okay, let's do this. Yeah, train's pretty pants. Might want to move my guys backwards. I'd like how it is to support the right flank. We can start to slowly move them over. I mean, the left hand one's going to have to fire on the centre. Nope, no canister shot for you.
soon though. You're not that far off. Ah, one of the units must be hidden now, it, it appears. The enemy is advancing, they're forming two wings. It looks like they're particularly concerned about my cavalry. There we go, the initial shots have been fired. Obviously it's my Feltjäger. The Finska in the, in, in the Lat Infantry is going to be in position. There's the enemy. Oh. Marching towards their front rank. Keep advancing. They really... They really do seem to hate my cavalry. Militia to the rear can get knocked out by my cavalry. Barrage! Form a little pike block. Yeah, they've hit my guns, but then my gunners will likely come back. And they've also hit my square, so their cavalry may route. Charge their cavalry. Guard, ah, the Guard oh, National took some hits. Get my militia back up. Get this militia out of square. Good stuff. Get my militia to counter charge on the flanks here. There we go, the enemy 28 fallen. Push onward into the 12th. Let's get ready to commit my cavalry on the right. Bring my cavalry back, get my gunners. Get my gunners back into position. The seventh light horse are now attacking our line. Yep, there they go. Glorious victories are is soon to be yours. Damn right. There you go. Now my infantry can do some good work because I know my cavalry is going to clear out some of these weaker units on the right flank. So what? Uh, they've got the this unit of Voltageurs is still sticking around, and they've got the 26th Regiment Infantry de Ligne still sticking around. We don't want to fight the enemy square. Kill a few of these voltages. Uh, howitzer, howitzer, howitzer. Drop some shells on that square formation. Another howitzer attack for the 17th. 
draw my cavalry back. Ah, artillery, artillery is bugged. Oh no, they got the message. Gonna put a blast into the 17th Regiment of Foot at point blank range. So let's zoom out backwards a bit and then. Ha! Ah, the what the right hand gun blew this hole. <laughs> Unsurprisingly, they didn't like that. There's the enemy gen enemy reinforcements. Napoleon himself. Draw the cavalry back up towards this unit of voltageur. So let's trot some cavalry up to meet Napoleon. You men smash into the back of the Voltageur. So then let's take these two infantry units and form up. Enemy cavalry is interested in my interested against my cavalry. Interested to try and do some sort of attack. You men advance, my cavalry hit the militia. The men of the Howitzers focus fire on these remaining troops on the flank. Obviously they've got some troops that are deciding they want to come back. Foot artillery ceasefire, because we're now going to surround and destroy the remaining troops. Napoleon's charging in. To be honest, the, the, the cavalry could break fighting against Napoleon, because his morale is quite strong. But we get, we're gonna get him. Our men are running, sir. Yeah, one of our cavalry units was so stupendously surprised at the enemy's capture. There we go, we got him. <laughs> Scallywags. Hey, that 30th regiment, they routed even though they formed square. Human all form up. You guys continue to chase down some of these routing troops. Both the howitzers engage the 17th light horse. Push up my lines to deal with them. You guys maybe pivot to help support the 9th Horse Guards against the 20th Regiment of Foot. This is why I've got my general hightailing it over here at high speed. Oh, there they go. They routed from the 2nd Cavalry charge. The enemy cavalry should go down to musket fire from my foot here. Yeah, they've taken cover in the trees. Apart from that, it looks like. Oh, my cavalry. Oh no, it didn't come back. My mistake. The men are fatigued, sir. I must rest a while. I don't give a damn. Bring my light horse up, ready to charge into the back of the 17th. Mm. 
bit of artillery fire. Nice cavalry volley, and away they go. Excellent. Well, there we go. That's the last roll of the dice for the French Empire. Yes. So now Corsica is taken. And then this force that's in Corsica... Well, actually, they want peace. The reason why they, the city hasn't fallen is because it will fall on our turn. Um, but yeah, this force actually might be the force that ends up going for uh, Palma and then probably Sardinia, because I don't think Sardinia's got any allies. So that's another territory that we can gobble up quite nicely. Reino de España. Yeah, they want peace now as well, but they're not going to get it. Occupy Corsica. Building constructed merchant house in northern Italy. Is that grade you to a banking house? Recruitment report. Continuing to recruit as planned. Traits gained. Decorated hero for Mr. Zettisberg after he took the uh, after he took Corsica. I just completely lost it for a second there. General available, Alvasta Henriksen. And there's Corsica. So apparently we don't get like a hooray, France has been defeated thing, because they definitely have been. Oh well, either way. Corsica is taken, so you're going to spend some time replenishing. As is this force here, in Bastia is going to recruit a couple of sloops. So if we were to go for Cagliari, Rino of Napa, uh, Rino de Sardinia. Yeah, no allies, so they're quite. Well, to be honest, I might want two armies to do it. One to do the fight, and then one to take the city. So maybe, Mr. Bergland, if I can take, if I could take you guys out of Madrid, minus three. Not quite yet. Not that there's a rush because we've still got. This, this caused a force to replenish. Um, but we need to be ready to invade Portugal. Once we take Portugal, we can then move these forces back up to Normandy and attack Britain. But we now have another... Comp oh, I thought this was a complete army. Apparently not. Uh, let's get... this ship across. And then get the ship... Back to Finland, so... Can I not make them? Yeah, there we go. Two light cavalry go into that army. Two light cavalry go into Froda Johansson's force. Good. Fuyega. Uh, get some howitzers, get some in Delta. Good. Good, good, good. Because soon we will be fighting against Prussia. But we don't have to worry about that now. Everything is going according to plan. We now have some ships inside Gibraltar. But I'm probably going to end up having just to mass recruit some frigates to try and exercise an element of control. But let's hit in turn. Yeah, it won't take long for that cavalry to get down to where they need to be. Kaiserturm Austerich. That's a bit of a weird position for the Austrian troops. Hmm. But yeah, mass, take Portugal, then push against Great Britain. That would be a good plan. Because once we take Britain, then we can start to decide on who is it. Do we, who do we go for? Do we go for Austria? Do we go for Prussia? Do we go for Russia? And it would be good, I think, to try and isolate Russia. I mean, I, well, I have to try and isolate them, but I won't. It's not to say that it will be easy. Alliance, ooh. Wait. I think part of this is due to the fact I've got a 
it's to do with the difficulty level. Actually, I'm not allied with Austria anymore. So I, so I was allied with Austria before, at one point, I think. Hmm. But I'm still allied with Britain. Maybe next turn that'll go away. Or maybe it takes a few turns to get away to stop the AI or from anyone from backstabbing you. Build the dark. Build the ordnance board. Okay, now are you full strength? Yes. Good. But where to put you? I want to say this bridge. So you men can get inside. Although, to be fair, does that screw up your recruitment plans? Or is it just easier to have units outside rather than inside? Mr. General Alvester Henriksen. Because I do need a lot of firepower. It's probably easier to manage like this. So Frode Johansson... You may as well try get some cavalry. While you men go back, and then next turn you'll pick up... That's a lot of stuff recruited, actually. What, did I not move all my... Chaps across. Two Adelta, two Finska. Good. Keep on recruiting. Upgrade the military acad academy. Can't do anything here. You need yeah, two sloops. Still going to replenish. So I think now I can move Mr. Berglund out of Madrid. Minus two. Yeah, that'll be okay. Well, one, minus one will be better. Same with Gibraltar, to be honest. Minus two, again, minus one will be better. I mean, Britain can't really attack me because they're, they're incredibly bankrupt. Although it looks like they have built up a bit of a force there. I do need to get Niles back onto the back up to the north. Georg Karl von Doblin is not able to not able to pick up any reinforcements. Okay, let's hit end turn. Kaiser term Osterreich. But yeah, France has gone. France has definitely been defeated. Understandably, Britain is mistrustful of us, but that is because they sh Okay, I'm going to cancel Prussia's uh, military access, because I do not want three full stacks running around my territory. I mean, I'm fairly sure there's probably some teleport shenanigans at play, should they decide to declare war on us. Because I think that's the kind of thing we've been caught out with in the past. Um, but I really don't want them to... Argh! So, Spain have launched an attack with a handful of units, but they can't actually take the city. But yeah, you're going to have to make a slightly longer route. Okay, Bragg, Bergland. Minus one, that'll be fine. Get up towards Barcelona, because at... Hmm. Or is the easier thing to just go for it? Just say, you know what? They're not gonna just go for it. Get my cavalry here just to redeploy to attack Renholt. One more turn till you get your sloop. And then try and get you back to the mainland. Rune can pull out of Gibraltar. Stay at minus one for now. Got towards Madrid to cover it, because we only get two units in the garrison. Not very many at all. But yeah, I think at some so at some point then we, we, we get like a grace period of our alliance being cancelled, I suppose. But if I send my navy to have a look at Palma, 
Yeah, they get a garrison. And the port's currently empty, so next turn, Mr. Berglund can actually get in there and just take Palmer. So let's hit in turn, just to speed that along. Ferrying troops across. Oh, I forgot to rescind Prussia's uh, access to my land. Well, as long as they don't attack me this turn. Fingers crossed. Understandably, Austria no longer trusts me. Britain no longer trusts me. Hmm. You can try and go for Rome. No, I want no. I'm going to cancel Prussia's access because if, if nothing else, I want them to try and declare on Austria or Russia or someone. I want them to try and fight against each other. Whether or not that's achievable is another question because uh, the AI really might not want to do that. Ooh, I want me to give them Grand Battery, break trade with Pontifical States, join the. They want to. Join, they can offer a Grand to join war against Spain. Um, well, I don't need the money. And Spain are down to just Palma, so I'm not interested in what Prussia has to say there, either. Regno Napoli, Sicily. Yeah, oh. mm. Workers on strike in Spain, but now they're okay. My ships... In here can get there in one turn so let's move one of my sloops out you men embark well first of all land in their port because they wanted to land off the beach of Palma oh ok I don't think it matters then Next turn, they'll take Palma. They might try and go for Pamplona. Well, they won't get Madrid, that's for darn sure, because Madrid is covered. And the cavalry... Well, they can, they can try and run the gauntlet. Oh no, they can run the gauntlet, that's fine. Some Niles... Embark your small force. Just land it off the coast of Provence. They haven't got to do any movement. That, that, that sloop is done for. Okay. Prussia. Cancel military access. Do not want you using our borders for warlike purpose purposes. So let's. I want to keep this navy nearby. So you're probably going to redeploy to Alborg, in which case then these two ships can redeploy to eh, Rotterdam. They might be needed. But yeah, as these guys rebuild their strength. I really want a fleet to protect here, and I'll try to get some ships over to the east for the war against Russia. Mr. Breck is almost completely done. So no one... so the light cavalry can go to Mr. Hemrickson. You're recruiting one more unit of elite troops, so these basic troops can go to Fraud Johansson. He's currently recruiting some cavalry, get a 12 unit, get a, uh, get a 6 pounder, regular unit, get a howitzer, sphere, leave guard, I've grenadier regiment, two more spaces in the capital. Let's get, let's get some uh, in delta, actually no, the in delta can come from Delta can come from Finland, so they're not as big of a as big of a deal. Finland, you are getting some good troops 
good numbers of troops recruited because yeah mr breck is almost completely done one more turn and that's another force we can throw into the field let's get you guys back into cartagena till in turn the funny thing is i don't think austria wants to declare war on me because they know i am so powerful Yeah, Prussia's controlling the bridges. It looks like they they could well sense that conflict is near. Blücher has recovered. Prussia is now contesting at the crossing between Sweden and the mainland. Not that they are... It's not a problem yet, but obviously when we are at war, then it, that becomes a critical node, because that then completely prevents our transport of troops to the front. Oh, you're going to go after that sloop, are you? Or are you going to go for Pamplona? Never surrender. Oh, that's very nice of you not to press the attack. Because we can. Building constructed supply depot in Denmark. Good. So, Mr. Breck, your force is complete. So, let's maybe get another force down here in Italy. We can still cross because they're not enemy. It's not an enemy force. Okay. Recruiting your guns, recruiting two elite infantry. Let's get. To get a light infantry and a foot jäger, get you guys back to Finland. Get back. Okay, now we're starting to churn out the troops. How's our finances doing? 15 grand. Well, 15,700 is pretty big, but let's take uh, Mr. Br Mr. Berglund. And attack the Spanish capital here at Palma to destroy the Kingdom of Spain once and for all. Then we can launch two armies against uh, Sardinia. Although, yeah, probably you probably do want two armies. Foot artillery is fairly useless. New men form up in the centre. Ultimately, it's a Ultimately, it's a militia army we're against anyway, so it's not as much of a problem. Grenadiers, Kurgan, and Indelta on the left. I've got Kurgan, Lat infantry on the right. Light and heavies on one flank. Light and heavies on the other flank. How it's a follow up the centre. Good stuff. March towards them. They're an enemy of uh, partisans, militia. Where are you going? Why are you not in the... There we go. Just push. The enemy is... The, gar the enemy garrison is all partisans. They're probably all going to be in a big block around here. Hey, I remember this map. I fought quite a large battle here with my defensive line here. <clears throat> my defensive line here facing that way. With reinforcements coming in, enemy reinforcements coming in from the flank. Hmm. I mean, that's their general's unit of militia. Obviously, they're not going to stick around. Aha! The block is sighted. Might be quite a similar action. It's 
probably not, it might not be all of them, but it's it's a lot of them. <laughs> Ideally, I'd like to try and squeeze them a bit more while they're all combined together. Yeah, so people have asked me before, you know, how do I make how do I make the AI deploy smartly at the start of the battle rather than in a big block and the secret uh, the secret is I don't okay my left flank has to run to catch up you men are going to start to run to form that line So you ask me how else I can make ready here. My front line needs to run to get a set up. Get Mr. Berglund up to the front. Get my right flank to run as well. My heart is in position, so let's just make them unlimber. Maybe the enemy has the honour of open firing first. However, I think that is an honour that they will not be able to capitalise on. Safe to say, they're not going to have the best time. Again, could take the house, but actually that would just reduce my firepower. And it looks like the AI is aware of the, the situation they're in. Hence the poor morale. Oh, my fourth foot guard, my leave guarder. They're being shot at by the pop by the enemy. So you men pivot to help engage and destroy the sixth regiment. You guys push up to threaten the general's bodyguard unit. My cavalry is just going to sit here and block the escape routes towards the city. Oh. Poor, poor Spain. Got on my 14th regiment of foot, form up. There we go. Now it begins. No, now we change. Right. <laughs> Partisans, yeah, they've gone down. Cavalry stalking the land. Like jackals. Try and get the a surround going. I need to get a direct hit. Oh, my militia aren't firing. Okay, that's not all of them. Pivot the line. Advance you guys up. As soon as the 13th Regiment are down. Yeah, there they go. Lots of them are going down to the 31st Regiment. 
go on second grenadiers. Oh yes, please, 9th Regiment, route right towards my troops. I mean, they've pushed into my line here, but that's not a great... That's not going to work out super well for them. I mean, my cavalry's right there, but I'm not going to use them. You men pivot just slightly further along to make the regiment of partisans have to run through you. Oh, well, here we go. They've all routed. Yeah, let's just end it there. It would potentially be quite a useful avenue to gain some more experience, but it's just not needed. Let's, in, let's loot the city. Repair the academy. The roads are good. Re there we go. And Spain has been defeated. No more siege of Pamplona. And that is that. That's another enemy defeated. Cavalry pushed away on push. Keep pushing towards Mr. Backstrom. I suppose one of these armies, this army, well, what the first army to be replenished might actually uh, position to Normandy. Because if I've got two armies here in the Med, we push on Cagliari, I'd probably want two armies to maybe land and take Sicily. But let's have a look at Sicily, see if we can... The ally with the Pontifical States. The... Okay, so there's a bit of an Italian confederation going on there. There aren't any useful small territories that I can attack. Oh, the Pontifical States are at war with Prussia and Russia. No wonder they wanted to push through my land. Well, you're going to have to go through Trieste now, Russia. Looks like they are going to try. They're going to recruit some ships. But yeah, replenish the port. Rebuild the government building. Replenish the armies. You guys are can recontinue advance towards Lisbon. Three more turns till we have no more research. So let's hit end turn. I mean, yeah, because the, simply due to the fact that we only have two areas we can recruit troops from, we need to just keep recruiting. We can't ever stop because by the time we need them, it'll take so long to get them where we want them to be. Yeah, Russia probably doesn't like the fact that we booed them out of our territory, especially as it's prevented them from declaring war against one of their... Uh, well, I was going to say enemies, but actually, we're not that bothered. I think it would be beneficial if I could try and take out Italy myself. More recruitment... Uh, move, get you guys across now. Get you men back. So two light infantry, two infantry, two howitzers. Mr. Henriksen, you can get, you can take the hold of them. Mr. Johansson, light infantry, two artillery. Have you got? Okay, you've got our Latin infantry, get a foot Jaeger. Good. So you've still got some heavy cavalry to join the fray. Uh, Mr. Breck, actually, you might... Ooh, actually. Do we not already have a, a general that looks like that? I thought we did. Well, either way, Mr. Breck... You can redeploy to Normandy. Mr. Sedink is going to deploy to... Yeah, he's holding this bridge here against the Prussians. Let's sail a ship down to Cagliari to have a look at what's going on. Oh, there's only one army. 
Amadeo Luzzatto. And they've got a small navy, which we don't really need to worry about. But yeah, if we can take Sardinia, reinforce, and then invade Palermo, while also potentially redeploying, well, not necessarily Finn, but have an army here in Italy ready to spar with the, with the Pontifical States. That might be a good idea. Good. So we have now have a... Well, we have our mark. Actually, I'm... Eh, no. Put, keep them together. So let's declare war on Prussia. Not Prussia. Portugal. Let's not call in our allies, because we don't want to give them a chance to... <laughs> Search, anticipate, or utter room with keen, nay, eager expectation. So I want to put my I put my armies into the field because I want them to try and counterattack me. I don't want to spend troops against this force here. I want to bring Mr. Chia Molera east to draw them into battle. That would be what I consider a win. Let's maybe get this force <clears throat> this force down to Spain and in terms of recruitment, everything else has been done. <clears throat> Always got to keep stock armor full capacity. Another foot Jaeger. Two Vinska. There we go. Hit and turn. Hopefully, at the very least, Portugal redeploys against us. So we can secure the Iberian Peninsula. We're now we've got those two armies in the Med. They can have the responsibility of securing Italy, and those other two armies can redeploy to Normandy to land against Britain and to attack London. And once they've taken London, they can redeploy to probably Finland and attack Russia from the north. That would be my preference. And all the while we're doing this. Doing <clears throat> God damn. Where's my coffee? <clears throat> all the while we're doing this. Ooh. So Russia, same deal as before. Except they just, they just don't want us to trade with the Pontifical States. And no. Because I don't want you to join the war. <clears throat> Again. I, oh god damn it. Hmm. I don't want them to join the war against Portugal, and ultimately, if they're going to start moving troops away from the capital, then... Fine, I guess. That's completely fine, if that's what you want to do. Sweden. So you guys are going to go over here. Artillery and infantry. Okay, so you've got your two. Oh no, sorry, you don't need another foot Jaeger. Get two in Delta. Hey, Mr. Henriksen. Let's recruit a howitzer just to fill up Stockholm's recruitment queue. Get the frigate back. Reload. Good. Trade route raided, not bothered, um, because Portugal's made a massive blunder, a huge blunder. They've, for whatever reason, they've gone up to Garrison Porto with a, f a full stack, and they've left their capital within range of both of our armies. So we're obviously going to attack. Question is though, both of these generals are good generals. I mean, I suppose it's got to be Rune, really. Oh no, Mr. Backstrom's been waiting the longest. He's been waiting on the border for his cavalry to catch up. Uh, the 20th light horse, so let's give him the honour. We're going to attack Pedro José de Almeida. Um, but looking at the timer, this is probably a good time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the destruction of Portugal. Cheers everyone.